Hello, my name is Christian Cortez. I'm a, going to be a third year undergraduate in studying psychology and social behavior with a minor in statistics. So we had talked about what your specific role was in mediating those sort of conversations right. that we had mentioned. Um, <clears throat> my question now is, I guess, on a larger scale, um, what, at what point in this free expression of ideas and this exchange of differing opinions that we have on campus, at what point does the university itself find the need to really put its own, its own ear in and needs to really mediate these conversations? You know, the interesting role of the university is really primarily around safety right um, and not so much declaring because we are one of the hardcore bastions of free speech and expression um, our, from an administrative point of view the primary role of the large university mm -hmm. is maintaining that that's done in a safe environment right because you you have to make a big distinction between free speech um, speech you you really really don't like mm -hmm and actual real hate speech, which is inciting to violence and doing things. And obviously the university has to draw the line there where people are inciting to violence because now safety is an issue, right? Um, speech we really, really, really don't like. You know, the challenge is always, and this is why our country has had free speech for long as it is, is you never know who's gonna be in power and if they're the people who really, really don't like what you're saying, <laughs> right? And so protecting somebody else's rights you don't really, really like is really protecting your own mm -hmm. if they end up in power. And that's one of the roles the university plays. But there's another space I think that, that your question gets at, right, is um, in, in the world of debating these complicated issues, I mentioned this earlier in your other question, there can be times where there's, there's, there's different types of, of places where there's opinions and views. There's ones that are often fairly clearly factual mm -hmm. and people can have wrong or right information. Mm -hmm. There are ones where most reasonable people, given the facts, would come to a very same conclusion. Mm -hmm. And then there are ones where very reasonable people will come to very reasonable different conclusions. Um, this is particularly true, I think, when you're trying to decide what would be a good policy to implement to accomplish X. Mm -hmm. And the reason I say that is most social problems are rather complex, mm -hmm. right? And, and accomplishing a solution is often, you know, hard to know until you try things, mm -hmm. right? And the proof as to whether or not an idea is actually going to be helpful or not doesn't occur until you actually try it. There's not enough really information up front to say, okay, your idea's right, mine's wrong. We have to come to a way and a process to pick one to try, or maybe try a mixture of them, or try both, or to see how it works out. And really, the role of the university is to give the students the tools to have the critical thinking abilities to go through that process, and not just jump to judgments based on past experience, emotion, intuition, um, we all bring to any experience or conversation a set of both conscious and unconscious biases mm -hmm. that have come with us. And learning the skills of being self-reflective and trying to tease those out um, are the things the university really brings to this discussion through the faculty, through the courses, through students talking to each other mm -hmm. and learning from each other. So the university is about creating spaces really to learn and have these dialogues while making sure they're safe. And that's always our challenge and tension. So great question. Yeah, because it's one of the hardest things we do as a university. Because yeah. one of the hardest things to do is deal with this really intense conflict where there's a lot, particularly when there's a lot of emotion behind it. Yeah. Thank you.